What's up guys, welcome back to Show Ya Quilting. My name's Raimi and I'm gonna be showing you how to make this mystic table runner behind me. Now today we're gonna to be using Not Your Mama's Garden which is available on SoYaQuilting.com and the link is in the description below. So let's get started. Now I've gone ahead and pre-cut all of my fabric but the cutting instructions are in the pattern listed below. Now we're gonna jump right into it with our half square triangles. As you can see, I have two of my four inch squares here, and we're going to be using the four at a time half square triangle method. So, we're gonna take our squares, put them right sides together, and what you're gonna wanna do is draw a diagonal line across both sides of your square, going diagonally, corner to corner. Now, this is where it might get a little bit tricky. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take it, and we're going to sew a quarter inch seam all the way around the square first before we get into those diagonal lines. It'll make more sense when we get there, but let's just sew that quarter inch seam. Now that we have sewn our squares together, we're actually going to just cut it apart and you'll be able to see how it has made four half square triangles at the same time. This is where those diagonal lines come into play our first cut, our second, and just like that you have four half square triangles. Now I'm going to go ahead and get all these seams pressed out. Now as you can see here I've pressed open my seams and trimmed them down to two and a half inches and we have four perfect half square triangles. Now we're going to jump into our no waste method of flying geese. The no waste method is one of my personal favorites because as it says in the title there is no waste so there's no need for that little scrap bin next to you. Super easy, super simple. So we're going to take our five and a quarter inch square and our two squares of our C fabric and what we're going to do is we're going to put them corner to corner, like so. So now that we have our C fabric laid out, what we're going to do is draw a diagonal line across the back side of our fabric here. So now that we have that line, what we're going to do is we're going to sew a quarter inch seam on both sides of it, and then we'll be cutting along that marked line. As you can see, I've sewn down both edges. I'm gonna go ahead and get it cut and pressed open. Now that we have about half of our flying geese completed, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna finish it up. So, we have our nice little corners here, and we're going to take a secondary piece of our C fabric and put it on the corner just like so. Now, I've pre-marked the line just so that I have a reference point, but you're going to take a marking tool and mark down your square, making two triangles. Now. This is going to be the same thing that we just did. You're going to sew on both sides of that line with a quarter inch seam. I've got my seam sewn and now we're going to cut along that marked line. Just line up your ruler here. I'm gonna take it and press open the seams and trim down my rectangle. Now that we have two of our flying geese completed, I think they look pretty great, but we're going to go ahead and repeat this with our other colorway so we can get that inner square of the block here. So we've just done this one, we're going to go ahead and make all of these now. Now I've gone ahead and cut down my second colorway of the flying geese and I'm just going to go ahead and press open my seams and get them trimmed down to the proper size. Alright, so now that we have all of our pieces sewn together, we're going to go ahead and start actually constructing our quilt block. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our background fabric A, take two of our little squares here, lay them just like so. Now we're going to take one of our flying geese that has that background A fabric in it and put that facing upwards. I'm gonna add two more squares to the other side. Now I'm gonna lay out the whole block just so we can see it and make sure that everything's in the right place before I start sewing our rows together. Okay, so we're just finishing everything up. Got a couple threads on here I'm gonna pull off. 
And this is what our finished quilt block is going to look like. Now we're gonna sew them together row by row and then sew those rows together like any standard quilt block. So we're gonna take these ones starting off, right sides together, take them over to our machine. Right, we'll open it up, put it onto our flying geese. Do the same on this side. And we've got our last background piece here. Okay, so our first row is done for our block. I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that process all the way down and I'll meet you back here to put our rows together. Now that all of my seams are pressed out and all of my rows are completed, we're gonna start putting all of our rows together. So, we're gonna start at the top, take your first row, lay it on to your second row. Now what I do is I sew my corners together first to make sure they line up so that if something's missed or something doesn't quite line up, I can just unpick that one little part instead of having to take out the whole seam. Now that all my corners line up, I'm going to sew a seam all the way down the strip and I'm going to repeat this all the way down my block until it is finished. I'll meet you back here when everything's pressed out. Now our first block is done. We're going to repeat this three times for a total of four blocks, as you can see in the table runner behind me. And then once we get that done, we're gonna go ahead and add our sashing. Now I'm just gonna add that to this piece right here so I can show you how we do it. Now nothing special, we're just gonna put our right sides together here and sew that quarter inch seam allowance down the side. And just like that, you're almost done. So go ahead and make all your other blocks and we'll meet you back here for the final construction. Now, as you can see, we've created all four blocks and now we just have to attach the final one. Now, I love what we did here in fussy cutting the butterfly so that you can kind of get that focal piece in your table runner. I think it's super cool, but you cut your fabric however you would like. Now, we're gonna take our block, put it right sides together with our sashing strip, get that sewn together and add our final border piece. Okay, it looks good. Now we have two more seams and we will be done. Now I'm gonna take my border piece here and line it right up with my sashing. Now putting those sashing strips on the end just makes it a built-in border just for you. And we're going to sew all the way down the edge of our table runner. Look at her. All right, your Mystic Table Runner is officially complete. Now, I just wanna say thank you to everyone for joining me in this tutorial today. And I also wanna give a huge shout out to Benner Text for giving us the opportunity to be fabric designers of Not Your Mama's Garden. Now, like I said, it is available on soyaquilting.com and there's a link in the description below. We'll see you next time at Soya Quilting.